Hey there graduate, you are probably right at the start of writing your thesis. You've entered your fourth year, your graduation year, and you may have actually no idea about what to write your thesis on. Within this video, I'm going to show you a couple of ways how you can think about a topic, how you can brainstorm about a topic, and how you can specify your topic even further. Before watching this video even further, I want to mention the most important thing about this video. And that is that you find a topic that really interests you, that really suits you, that drives you. Keep in mind that you have to write about this topic and have to read about this topic for a couple of months. So keep this in mind. Find a topic that you really like. Let's continue with the video. Firstly, you may start your internship at Schiphol Airport. And if you've started an internship at whatever company, you can talk to your supervisor about whether they encounter a problem or maybe even an opportunity in the organization you can write about. So let's say you started working at Schiphol and your supervisor mentions that they see an opportunity in enhancing the customer experience um, of the bars and the restaurants at the airport. This might be a good opportunity for you to find out, okay, what is the customer experience at this moment um, and how can we optimize it? Where do we see the bottlenecks in this experience that may be optimized? That might be a good topic for writing a thesis. So talk to your supervisor, to talk to your manager and see what you can write about. In case you do not have an internship yet, to be honest, this is not really a problem. Then the next step is to find a topic that interests you as a person. So what I would say is first to find your research area. What is the area you are most curious about? What were topics you liked in school? This could be marketing, organizational behavior, finance. From there, you can try to look at, okay, what kind of websites or newspapers offer articles about these topics? So you can take a look at news websites such as HR Online. You can take a look at to news. Um, try to find a few newspaper articles that are relevant, that are pressing, that are current. Something that people care about in this present moment. Secondly, there's a lot of research institutes that are actually already doing research and you can basically piggyback on their own research. So for example, you can take a look at Robeco, you can look at McKinsey. These are all famous research institutes. And I will mention a few more above here that you can also take a look at. Try to see what kind of newspaper articles they offer and which of those do you actually like to read? Write those down. What are the topics they are writing about? And can you actually use their topics for your own research? The next step is then to maybe find a case company you can write for. So for example, if you found an article that mentions that actually people are not looking for the new way of working anymore, but they want to find a way to start a new way of working at their home office. That might be interesting to look at, um, but maybe now you need to find a company, company you can write this for. So you can call companies, you can write emails and talk to them about this topic. Say, hey, I've read this article and I think this might be very interesting for your organization to do research on. Can we maybe have a talk about this? So in this way, you don't wait for the company to offer something to you. In that way, you show them what you can offer the organization and how you can be of added value. You know, there's been so many times that I was either reading a book or a magazine and that I got so interested in a topic that I thought, well, actually it might be very nice to conduct a research about this. And this is something you can do as well. So if you read a book and they mention something about introversion at an organization, you can think, okay, what does it mean to be an introvert in the hospitality industry? Might be a topic for a thesis. I also remember that I was reading Flow magazine. This is a magazine about mindfulness 
in life. And I was reading the, current, the following article. It says, missing the present before it's gone. And I got so interested about this article that I thought maybe there's already some academic research about this. And to be honest, there wasn't really a lot. It was about nostalgia and how you can miss something, but how you can also start missing something during the experience itself. And I started to write an article about it because I thought it was so interesting to learn more about this topic. And by reading Flow magazine, I came across an article I was so interested about and you can start conducting your research about it. So don't force yourself to stick to the conventional topics, but look around, look in magazines, look in books, try to see what they are writing about. And maybe you can use one of these topics to also write your thesis about. And the final tip that I have is to think about what you like to talk about with your friends. When you go to a bar, where you go to a cafe or a coffee store, what kind of conversations do you tend to get in? Um, what are your hobbies? What do you like to do? And why do you like those hobbies? So for example, if you really like to do yoga and you feel that it has a positive effect on your mental well-being, why not create an intervention and see whether if you implement this intervention, this yoga intervention in the hotel, whether it enhances the staff productivity or their staff satisfaction. I mean, if you feel like it's working for yourself and you're really interested in this topic, why not try to do a research about this? And this is also what I meant in the beginning of this video. I mentioned find a topic that really interests you, that you would like to read more about. So find a topic that you actually like to talk about, that when you are writing your thesis, you can go to a coffee store with your friends just to brainstorm about it, just to have a conversation about your topic. Because in the end, by the end of these couple of months, weeks, you will be the expert. You will be the one knowing everything about this topic. So the question is, what would you like to know most about? And then there's that final moment to specify your topic. How can you make sure that your topic really is suitable and specific enough for writing a thesis about? First of all, just start brainstorming. Write down everything that comes into your mind. S try to start combining the different topics that you have an interest in. Try to see how you can make links and connections and ask questions. Do you guys remember lettering? We've talked about this in year two. Start asking yourself the question, why? Why is this important? Why would this organization benefit if I do the research about this? Why, 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 why is it important? If you can convince us that your research topic is of importance to an organization or to the industry, hospitality or facility management, then you know you found a niche. Then you know you found a topic that we will care about to read about. Good luck.